Man, when it comes to buying wheels, it can be extremely hard to narrow down what's best for you with so many options out there. You've got steel wheels, magnesium wheels, alloy wheels, monoblock, rotary forged, art formed, two piece, three piece, fully forged. And if you're not completely familiar with all of them, sifting through them and finding the wheel that's right for you can be a complete and utter nightmare. What do all of these terms mean? How does it affect the look, weight, and the strength of the wheel? How will it affect your vehicle and how much will it hurt your wallet? Well, luckily for you guys, we're not just any old wheel supplier. We are fitment experts and we're here to help. So sit back, relax, maybe take some notes because today we're gonna take a deep dive into what makes these wheels different from one another and which one may be best for you. Wow. You know, if you are looking for wheels, tires, or suspension, let me hook you guys up. If you head over to fitmentindustries.com right now and put together a wheel and tire package, we're gonna mount, balance, and ship these bad boys to your door for free. Or if you simply wanna learn more about your favorite wheels or see what looks good on your car, we have the largest online gallery of aftermarket wheels to ever exist. And each one of these has all the wheel, tire, and suspension information to help you pick the perfect setup for your ride. And if you like random automotive facts and wanna see some behind the scenes action here at Fitment Industries, go give me a follow on the old Instagram at seanb.fi. Let's get started. Uh. So first things first, steel wheels. Steel wheels have been around for a long time and were pretty much on all your passenger cars and trucks from the factory. And even in the aftermarket scene for a long time, they're cheap to produce and strong hell. Even a bunch of your more entry level and commercial wheels still use steel wheels to this day. Now, cheap and strong in this case does mean heavy. These will not be the greatest choice for performance, but they will reliably get you from point A to point B and will not likely cause any issues. There are actually still companies that make aftermarket steel wheels as well. These are gonna be your craggers and things like that. A great choice if you're looking for that specific look, but not something I would necessarily recommend for a performance oriented platform. You may also hear the term tossed around alloy wheels. Alloy wheel is simply a term that refers to a wheel made up of a mixture of metal and other elements. They generally provide greater strength over pure metals, which are usually much softer and much more ductile. Alloys of aluminum or even magnesium are typically lighter for the same strength of a steel wheel while providing better heat conduction. So an alloy wheel can either be magnesium or aluminum, but pretty much is referring to aluminum wheels. Aluminum alloy wheels are obviously made of an aluminum alloy. Since the late 1960s, we've been able to produce an aluminum wheel that's nearly as strong as steel, but is significantly lighter, but they are not all the same. An aluminum wheel doesn't necessarily mean lightweight just because it's lighter than steel. In fact, there are multiple different ways to create an aluminum alloy wheel that are vastly different from each other. And probably the most popular version of an aluminum wheel is gonna be a cast aluminum wheel. A cast aluminum wheel is made by casting aluminum into a pre-made mold. Aluminum is heated up until it becomes a liquid and it's poured into said mold. And Viola, you're 90% done with the process. After the wheel is cast, it goes through some machining steps to make it a little bit less crude and a little bit more precise, as well as maybe even having some pieces drilled out on the backside and things like that to save a little bit of extra weight. Then it's painted and powder coated and sent on its way. A poor molded cast aluminum wheel generally needs more material to maintain enough strength to pass regulated wheel strength tests, and more material inevitably means more weight. This is especially true with your more complex faces and larger designs. Cast aluminum wheels are some of the cheapest on the market under a steel wheel. That's because the casting process has less steps involved and is more efficient to produce. Forged aluminum monoblock or single piece wheels on the other hand are, well, literally forged from giant billet blocks of aluminum. Essentially you have what is a cylindrical shape of billet aluminum that gets put under a press and that thing gets squeezed into a die. That's gonna give you the rough shape of a wheel. Essentially it's gonna be kind of a blank faced wheel. From here, it will get its face machined out of it before going through a few different final finishing stages. The big difference between a forged wheel and a cast wheel is gonna be the structure of the material. A cast wheel is gonna have a grain structure that's pretty well kind of randomized and all over the place. Like we talked about this before, this forces you to use more material to meet the same structure strength standards, whereas a forged unit is gonna have a more aligned grain structure. This is gonna significantly increase the strength of this wheel, and that's gonna allow for the manufacturer to actually use less material on the wheel 
thus making it significantly more lightweight. Although this process is much more tedious and thus carries quite a bit heftier of a price tag. The same process really follows for your multi-piece wheels as well. You're gonna get a forged inner barrel, a forged outer barrel, and a forged face, and then you would assemble them all together with hardware. The advantage of a three-piece wheel is really to be able to dial in some custom fitment. This is also where you start to see some really cool color themes come together as well. You can get varying colors on each individual piece to go with whatever theme that you could possibly imagine. From a polished outer lip with a black barrel, with a bright blue face with gold hardware, the combinations are quite literally endless. But while a three-piece forged wheel may seem like the best of the best, there are two kind of pretty large drawbacks. A, cost to manufacture and package this kind of product is extremely expensive. We're talking about five, six, seven thousand dollars for a set of four to start. And when you look at the added material to make these pieces come together, plus all the hardware, it's really easy to start exceeding weight expectations when compared to a fully forged monoblock or one piece wheel. Your two piece wheels hit that kind of in between mark here. You get a fully forged one piece barrel with a separate fully forged face, weight and cost are down just a bit here as well but without sacrificing that look and then between full casting and fully forged monoblock wheels is going to be your rotary forming rotary forging art formed mat whatever you want to call it rotary forming or whatever anyone decides to name it is taking some of the best attributes of a cast and a forged wheel and kind of putting them together and combining their powers to produce a wheel that is lighter and stronger than a fully cast wheel without all the super expensive processes of a fully forged wheel essentially what this is is a cast wheel with kind of a twist. So let's just say we want an 18 by 10 inch wheel. We're going to pour a cast wheel that's about 18 by 5 inches wide. And then we're going to take that casting, we're going to put it up on a rotary die. And then what's going to happen is we're going to heat up the wheel and we're going to spin it really fast while a machine uses a thin wheel to press on the barrel while it spins to smash and stretch that barrel out to about 10 inches wide. This actually reshapes the grain structure of the material to make it more in line, similar to that structure of a fully forged wheel. So now what we have is an 18 by 10 inch wheel that only uses as much material and thus only weighs as much as that 18 by five inch cast. Pretty neat, right? That's pretty neat. This is exactly what we did with Artisan wheels. And that's why we can have a 19 by 11 wheel that comes in at less than 23 pounds or an 18 by nine and a half wheel that comes in under 20 pounds without exceeding the cost of your more well-known popular cast wheel. And then there's magnesium wheels. Magnesium wheels are, well, they're exactly that. They're wheels made of a magnesium alloy. But up until the 1960s, aftermarket wheel manufacturers were using cast magnesium for production as aluminum manufacturing technology technology was kind of battling the brittleness of that material. Modern forged magnesium alloy wheels are light years ahead of the old school mag wheels from cast magnesium. Magnesium has several benefits to make it a more attractive base metal for wheels than aluminum. Magnesium is the lightest metallic structure material available, being about 1.5 times less dense than aluminum. So magnesium wheels can be designed to be significantly lighter than aluminum wheels while exhibiting comparable strength. A lot of your competition used racing wheels are made of forged magnesium, and that's really kind of their only modern and current use. Anyway, getting into a magnesium race wheel is probably about as legit as you can get for a motorsport only wheel but they are pretty damn expensive you're gonna be looking at like seven to twelve hundred dollars per wheel but you're getting into the one of the lightest wheels you can possibly get these are pretty well going to be strictly for race teams looking to get every ounce of performance out of their purpose-built race cars with a big budget not necessarily a wheel for a street car that sees some track use so now that we know what all of this sort of means narrowing down what's best for you should be hopefully a little bit easier but maybe my personal favorite on this list is gonna have to be that rotary forming process now i'm not knocking any of the big ball and forged or multi-piece wheels i'd love to have some of those someday but from an actual consumer perspective i gotta say Rotary formed wheels present a ton of value to the average car enthusiast. It's the best combination of cost to weight and strength on the market right now, and that's why I run them on all of my vehicles with aftermarket wheels. But that about wraps it up for this one, guys. I hope I was able to give you some insight on what all of these different terms and processes mean and do for you and can help you narrow down your options to get you closer to your dream set of wheels. Subscribe if you're new. We do all kinds of crazy stuff here, and you're not gonna wanna miss any of it. And as always, wheels, tires, suspension, merchandise, underglow, detailing products, and much more over at fitmentindustries.com. I'm Sean, Sean B. Fi on Instagram. Thank you so much for watching. Peace.